I'm Christopher Ong. Welcome to Beautiful Living. Today we're going to take you to visit a historic house museum located at Washington Heights in Manhattan, Maurice Jumel's mansion. It is Manhattan's oldest colonial residence and served as General Washington's headquarters during the American Revolution. Today, I have invited a few friends to join me, and one of them is Le Chang. Hi, how are you doing? Hi, Le Chang is a jazz musician from China. So today we're going to learn something about American history and architecture. Let's go. Yeah. As a headquarter for General Washington, perfect location. Please come on in. Well, Morris Jamel Mansion is Manhattan's oldest remaining house, and it was built in 1765 basically as a summer house, which is hard for us to imagine today because we're in the middle of the city. When the house was built, this was really farmland. It was really very rural, and the Morris family who built the house were basically looking for a, a, a sort of a getaway for the summertime. Of course, summer in the city um, during that time was a pretty unhealthy time of year. Um, the water tended to be a little bad and probably didn't smell all that great in the city as well. So having a nice getaway, and a getaway on a hilltop like this, we're on the second highest point in Manhattan, so it would have been very breezy. The yes. views would have been absolutely phenomenal. It was probably a really nice, luxurious place to be. Roger Morris was the son of a British architect and builder. And while we don't think his father had a hand in designing the house, we're sure that his work influenced the design of the house. So it was really built as a Georgian style mansion. So it's got all the classical features, the four columns, front portico, coined corners. You know, these are all features that would have been all the rage at the time yeah. that the house was built. Could you show some of the rooms to other viewers? Absolutely. Let's yeah. take a look at our parlor. The Morrises built the house in 1765, but they really only got to use it for about 10 years before the outbreak of the American Revolution. Most notably, George Washington used it for about a month and a week in September and October of 1776. And then, um, of course, Manhattan Island was controlled by the British for the duration of the war. Mm -hmm. um, the British and Hessian officers used it basically as their headquarters yeah. for the duration of the war. The Jumels were the first to return it to its original function as a, as a country house. And so today, when we tour Morris Jumel Mansion, we see rooms that represent these sort of three major periods. We see uh, rooms that represent the Morris period, that earliest period of occupancy. The Washington period Washington. and the Revolution. And then finally, the Jumel period, which encompasses most of the 19th century. Mm -hmm. yeah. so, in those days, they have a music room. That's and right. would you be able to show us Absolutely. our viewer? Our octagonal drawing room is used very much as a working Yeah, I feel like standing in this room, it transports me back to the previous era. And now you play a Baroque music here. I think this must be sensational for people to come here to experience that. So why don't we go up yes. to the second floor? And now. Well, Eliza Jumel, you know, who we discussed, yes. she and her husband Stephen purchased the house um, in 1810 and returned it to its original function as a summer home, as a country house. Yes. Um, in 1832, Stephen Jumel died. And a year later, Eliza married Aaron Burr. Burr was the third vice president of the United States, most famous for his duel with Alexander Hamilton. Yeah. The marriage didn't last very long. But nonetheless, we have a sense of what the room that Burr slept in when he was here might have looked like. The bedroom of Mary Bowen is um, one of my favorite rooms actually in the house.
The Washington Room is one of the smaller rooms that we'll see as we tour the mansion, but it offered Washington a little privacy, a little seclusion from the rest of the activities that were going on in the house, and we think that's why he selected the room. I'm glad today we share all this great time with friends and with Camos introduces the history, the architecture, the design of this mansion. So I'm glad that you can join us. Thank you so much for including me. I, and to thank you, I prepared a little tea sort of based on what you might have experienced oh, here in the great. house it, back in the day. Oh. Thank you for joining us. I'm Christopher Ong from Beautiful Living. We will see you next time for more Beautiful Living. Thank you. <laughs>